Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out a bunch of new drugstore makeup products for you guys. So I originally went to Target to try to find a darker shade of that Pacifica foundation that I have been loving. They didn't have the Pacifica makeup in store, but I did purchase another brand that I will be sharing with you guys today. And then I also purchased my Wet n Wild Coconut Primer Water, which you guys know I love. The brand is actually Makeup Obsession. I've never heard of them before. I've never seen people do videos on them before, but I did grab a couple things for you guys as well as this Maybelline Urban Dream cover foundation I got from Ulta not too long ago and we're just gonna see how they perform with a first impression if I look a little different I actually got eyelash extensions and my eyebrows tinted my eyebrows are a little dark because they just got tinted so they have to fade but once I do my whole eyebrow routine which I don't really do my whole eyebrow routine I just kind of fill them in a little bit in the inner part and take a lighter brow gel throughout the rest but once I do that it's good I cannot tell you how quick I can get ready now. I can get ready in less than 10 minutes. If you guys want to see all these drugstore products in action, definitely keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's just go ahead and get started. So like I was saying, I got my eyebrows tinted and my lashes done. This lash experience this time, way better than my first one. Like my eyes were not burning as much. They burnt a little bit right when I opened my eyes, but I remember the first time I ever got them done, it was like one of those things where I could not open my eyes and I was like, okay, my eyes are done. This experience was way better and I am loving having brows and lashes. Like literally, I'll take my makeup forever. Also, it's thunderstorming, so just Sorry about that. I've been really loving them and I actually go for a fill right before I give birth. I cannot believe it you guys. I'm like two weeks away from the due date of my son and I cannot believe it. I'm not two and a half weeks when I'm filming this video but when you guys see it it's gonna be even closer than that and I just can't believe it. Anyways I'm pre-filming getting a lot of stuff done. Let's get started with Let's do foundation first because you guys know I love foundations. As always, I am going to use my regular primers when I try a new foundation out because I love to give the foundation a fair shot. It's very rare that I try new primers. That's mainly because A, I have to really know the foundation that I'm using and how it wears. It just takes me a little bit longer to figure out if I love that product or not, you know. So primers are always a little bit harder for me to decide on, which is why I, if I find a pair that I love, I stick with them for a very long time, like these two. I just try foundations on top of it to try to find my new favorite ones, which I have found a lot of really great foundations lately. I'm going to go ahead and put the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer on first. I have the rose one downstairs as well, and they're just, they're both my favorites. I love them so much. And then I'm gonna use the Tatcha Silk Canvas, which you guys know looks like this. Mine's almost out. I actually am almost out of the one that I have downstairs too. I have used this primer a lot. It is one of my favorites. I have very oily skin, lots of texture. Also, don't mind myself tanner because I have actually been trying to exfoliate it off for a few days now. I tried out a new one and if you guys watch my monthly hits and misses that I'm doing this month, I'll tell you which one I used and why I don't like it because I don't like it at all. Today we're gonna be using a new sponge as well. I did go ahead and buy a backup of my e.l.f. one, so we'll use this if this one's not good at all. But I saw this on Wet n Wild's display at Target and it's a new makeup sponge and it just looked really cute. I really love the rain. I don't know, I'm a rain person. Thunderstorms and then like putting Handmaid's Tail on. Sign me up. That's probably what I'm gonna do after I get my videos filmed today. This is the side of it and the front. It has W and W in there and it has some primer on the sponge as well. So I'm just going to wet both of them. You guys know I love the e.l.f. one. I highly recommend it. It's super affordable. Both of these sponges do get bigger. This is the e.l.f. one. This is the Wet n Wild one. If you're familiar with the e.l.f. one, it's a very squishy, a very nice sponge and one that just soaks up any excess product, but also blends everything out. I don't know, it's like the perfect one. So this one does have a good bit of bounce to it. It's not a stiff sponge at all, but it is a little bit more stiff than the e.l.f. one. So far with first impressions, it seems okay for me. And then today we're gonna be trying out a new foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective. 
So this is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen. It has SPF 50, which might not be good for flash photography, but it says it's antioxidant enriched and pollution protection. I do have the color soft tan right here. This is $12.99 on Ulta.com. There's four stars and there are 16 shades. So this is what the product looks like. And it says experience the first full coverage makeup specifically formulated to protect your skin from harmful environmental aggressors. The Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage coverage foundation SPF 50 by Maybelline is a lightweight foundation that has a broad spectrum of SPF 50 and is enriched in antioxidants to protect against pollution. It not only leaves a natural looking finish but protects skin day after day. First full coverage protective makeup lightweight breathable finish so high SPF protects you from pollution full coverage lightweight we will see how this looks on the skin. I'm really interested. I do love a squeezy tube. I think it's so convenient and easy. My skin is doing pretty well so far. We're nice and primed. Everything's kind of set in. So we'll just go in with this shade. That's what the applicator looks like. But then I'm going to take the butt of the Wet n Wild sponge. We're going to do one side of my face with the sponge like normal. And then I might do the other side with a brush. Depending on how I'm feeling and how it's looking. So... Definitely smells like sunscreen. Like the moment you put it on your skin, it smells like sunscreen. I don't mind that. I love the smell of sunscreen, but it is definitely full coverage. This color is pretty dang spot on for me. This is probably the best color for me. I know a lot of people don't like the smell of sunscreen, but I personally don't mind it. It takes me back to like being at the pool every day when I was younger and nobody even like was worried about skin cancer or anything. You just stayed at the pool literally all day. But now we know the harmful things that can happen if you stay out. I use like high SPF no matter what, like if we're on the lake or whatever. And I don't know, I just love the smell of it. This is what the foundation is looking like. I definitely think it looks really pretty, nice. It has like a nice glow to it as well. And it looks very smooth on the skin. Yeah, it's not accentuating pores. There is a little bit of redness peeking through here, but I did try to apply a little bit more in this area. And it seemed like it did not want to build up. So I don't think this is a buildable product. We can try after we do the other side with a brush. So I'm going to go in with this It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush. It's one of my favorite brushes. I really think tools is all about personal preference and like what you are looking for and what's convenient for you. Like I feel like sponges are so convenient and easy. But some people don't have a lot of imperfections and can use a brush to really like buff out foundation so fast. But since I have problem areas, I feel like I always have to kind of take my time and really make sure it's worked into the skin. I'm actually liking both sides. I think they look literally the exact same. I do think a brush is a little bit more convenient with this foundation. That way I can like take it down my neck and everything. But everything is looking really pretty. These drugstore foundations coming out, man. I feel like I have a little bit more coverage in this area. So I want to see if I could take my brush. I mean, there's a little bit of redness peeking through. But I'm interested if I could take my brush and just kind of try to press it in here. So I'm going to do that to make sure I can get really nice full coverage. Because even my nose is covered. That's what my skin's looking like. I think it looks really good. It is pretty dewy. This kind of reminds me of that Pacifica foundation. But I'm curious to see how it wears throughout the day. I like it. Usually kind of dewier foundations accentuate my texture and my pores and things like that. But this looks good. It is sticky. Yeah, it's, you see that on my hand? That came off my face. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. You are going to have to set this foundation. So now we're going to try out this new brand from Target. This is Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal Longwear Concealer with Caffeine. Oh, they're vegan and cruelty free. I did not know that. It reminds me a lot of the Juvia's Place concealers. So you can see how big it is. I feel like it's just a little bit thicker. I did get the shade 03. And we are just going to highlight our face with this. Ooh, this is the biggest applicator I think I've ever seen for a concealer. <laughs> it's so big. I went back and forth with 03 and 04. And I ended up going with 03. But might be a little light. But we'll make it work. I'll leave all of these products down below as well. And I do want to take the wet mild sponge i'm not a big fan of using this side for under eyes i like using a more round side so that's what i'm going to do now not full coverage in my opinion i think it's kind of blending away yeah you can see i feel like it's taking up some redness right here as well really intense right here not so intense in this area and i don't like it when concealers do that 
I want to see if it's my sponge. So let me just apply a little bit more. We'll also see if this is a little bit buildable as well. And we'll take the e.l.f. sponge and just blend it and see if maybe that helps since it's a little bit more bouncy. Yeah, I'm not obsessed with this because I can just see like right through my concealer and I don't love that. So I'm going to go with a pass on this concealer, honestly. I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. This is the Full Wear Concealer. I also saw these on sale at Target, so I don't know why, but they were on sale, so go get you some if you have been wanting this concealer. I'm going to take a little bit of this right in here. And this one's the shade 375, and then I'm going to take 355 and put it up here where I want some highlight. Also, if you hear Rose in the background, she's just feeling very talkative today. So I'll say pass on this one unless you're looking for something that is not so full coverage, like you don't need that. Personally, when I apply concealer and things like that, I like a more full coverage product, like these L'Oreal ones. But I will say it didn't look bad on the skin. It just didn't wasn't what I wanted for my personal preference. I'm just gonna go ahead and do these two again on my other eye. So this is what the foundation and the concealer look like with the L'Oreal Infallible on top. I really do like it. They definitely have to be set with a powder, so I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna take that same makeup brand, the Makeup Obsession. So this is called the Pure Bake Banana Baking Powder, and it just has a nice yellow tint to it. So we're gonna see how this looks on my skin. Ah, okay, so it doesn't have a sifter or anything. It just comes like so. It's kind of a weird package. Like there's no sifter or anything on here. So you just go straight in. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just going to take my sponge and we're going to set this face. I like a lot of banana powders because it helps with flashback. Sometimes the really white, clear, translucent powders tend to give you like the worst flashback ever in photos, but then banana ones normally don't do that for me. Wow, that is like very smooth. That reminds me of a lot of the Pacifica powder, but instead with a tint. I don't have any filters on my camera. I know people ask that all the time. First off, I don't know how people do that. Trust me, I'm not a Final Cut Pro to where I can edit my skin texture so what you see is what you get not obsessed with the packaging but i do actually really like the product so far based on a first impression powder is an a plus that's good i was a little nervous after the concealer but i do really really like that i think it looks great now that we have everything set into place i am going to go in with another product from that makeup obsession brand and it's a palette and it's called give me some sun this just looked really pretty it's a nice bronzer palette so this is what we're going to be using today to bronze up the skin Kind of like two shimmery shades, one that's definitely more of a glow, one that's like a sheen, and then two matte ones. So you have this more matte warm tone, and then this cool tone one. So we're going to take the warm tone and kind of bronze, and then we're going to take the cool tone and contour the face. So I'm going to be using my little Morphe brush. So I'm going to go in with Rays. I will say I, will go, I would go in with a light hand, because I just went in with a light hand and it has really good pigmentation. Kind of has more of a red tone to it, like a terracotta feel. It's not super orange, it has a little bit of red, but it's a really pretty warm bronzer so far. Since we're in summer, I want to make my skin just kind of look more sun-kissed, you know? When I put bronzer on, I like it a little bit on my nose and my chin. I'm loving this so far. That is blending out like a dream, and I am tan really like that so far and now I'm gonna take buff which is this more ashy one it does have a little bit of fallout just keep that in mind but it could be because of the brush and how fluffy it is it's probably kicking up a lot of product I'm going to take this morphe m510 go in with a more ashy tone and contour I can't say I'd use the uh, shimmery ones very much. I would probably use Expose more than this one because this one's like a really intense shimmer. This one's more like a sheen. So if I wanted to do a bronzy blush, that's something that I would go for. I'd probably use just three out of the four shades in this, which is not bad in my opinion. Very pretty, A++. I like this a lot, it's so nice. And then for blush, I'm just gonna dip into this LA Girl Blushed Babe palette. I'm just gonna do a mixture of these two right here and just lightly cut my cheeks. I don't really have anything super new when it comes to blush, so I figured we could just use this. The only thing I didn't like is the concealer. Everything else is looking really nice. Now we're gonna 
highlight. I don't think I've used this before. I'm pretty sure I haven't even seen it in person or purchased it. But this is the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder in I'm So Lit. So this is what it looks like. It is a loose powder. I'm interested to see how this looks on skin just because it looks really intense and pretty in this package and you get a ton of product. I'm just going to use my Anastasia A23 brush that you guys know I love. I'm a little nervous. I haven't used a loose highlight in so long. Whoa. Oh, hold on. Oh. You know, I really thought you couldn't top that Pacifica highlight, but we just topped it. Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm really not. But that has got to be one of the most beautiful drugstore highlighters I've ever used. That is the most gorgeous, like, glowy highlight. That is, like, oh, I cannot tell you how much I love that right off the bat. It looks beautiful on the skin. Oh my gosh, and it just looks so like glowy, but it's like intense how I like my highlighters to be. So I'm actually gonna dampen this real quick just to see how it would look a little bit damp and put it right on the tops of my cheekbones. I mean, this is already intense. I'm telling you, this, this whole face combo, drugstore is killing it. I cannot get over it. All right, I'm just gonna spray my brush with this Morphe setting spray right into that highlight, I feel like we're about to be blown away. Hold on. I'm really not a fan of loose products, but this just did it for me. Now what I'm gonna do is take my blush brush. I'm just gonna quickly hit the apples of my cheeks to make sure we don't lose the blush that we have. Wow, I am very impressed with how my face products just turned out. Like I think this is incredibly beautiful, glowy. All we're gonna do is dive into an eyeshadow palette from that same Makeup Obsession brand. It is the All We Have Is Now palette, and this one's really pretty. They had a few other kinds, but this one was the one that was A, not tampered with, and also the color scheme that I wanted to use. It does come with a mirror, which is really nice, and then these are the shades. They are absolutely beautiful, so I'm just gonna do something kind of simple. I really just wanna see if these eyeshadows blend well and have a lot of pigment. I'm gonna go in first with Crossroads, which is this one right here. We're just gonna blend that into the crease. This is definitely more of a lighter color, but I do like the transition shade that it is. Like, it looks really nice. Let's go with Improvise. I'm gonna go in with Improvise right here with a blending brush. Seems like it has quite a bit of pigment. And I'm gonna put this into that crease and the outer V. Honestly, not bad at all. super pretty. Then I'm going to take Move. I'm going to take this from the inner corner to like the middle of the eye. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of Crossroads, which is the first shade we use. I'm going to go over the edges. I'm going to take the color Days, which is this really pretty. I don't even know how to describe this color. It's like a silvery blue taupe shade. And I'm going to put this all over my lid. So I'm going to use my MAC 242 to do this. And we'll see if I need to use like my fingers or whatever with it. That's without any liquids or anything. That is just straight from the palette. Now I'm going to take the shade Spell which is this one right here, and I'm going to highlight my inner corner with this. Oh wow, yeah, that's pretty. That is super pigmented. These are really, really nice. I'm just gonna take a flat brush like this, and I'm gonna go in with Improvise and push this up against my lower lashes. There's also no fallout on my face from this palette. I don't have an eyeliner to use, so I'm just gonna use this Benefit Bad Gal Bang 24 Hour Eye Pencil in brown. I'm just gonna quickly hit my lower lashes with a mascara, because I don't have any mascara right now. Now what I'm gonna do is quickly fill in my brows just a teeny bit using my Catrice Eyebrow Pencils. These aren't new, you guys have seen them a lot before. I'm gonna fast forward this part too, just so you can see how quick it is for me to fill in my brows. <laughs> Now 
I really just fill in the inner part of my brow and then also the top too because my brows are like really flat. And then I did use the Palladio Tinted Gel Brow Styler in light medium. I normally use a lighter one. This one is a little bit dark, but we're making it work today. Now what I'm going to do is take, this is a lip gloss from that same Makeup Obsession brand. So I'm going to take a lip liner. So I'm going to take this NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Beige. I'm actually going in with this Pixie by Petra Liquid Lip in Matte Beige first. And then I'm going to use that Makeup Obsession lip gloss in the shade Happily. I'm going to use that right on top. Whoa, is that a lip gloss <laughs> or a lipstick? <laughs> it's not like super glossy like normal glosses. It's kind of, it feels a lot like a liquid lip. The last thing I'm going to use is this Maybelline Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. It says it has up to a 16 hour wear matte finish. So this is what we're going to be using. It is brand new. So I'm excited to see how this looks. It definitely has one of those sprays that like shoots right out at you. Doesn't seem like it ruined the makeup because sometimes those can leave some hefty watermarks. This is also from Target. I've never seen this brand before, but it says it's a water-resistant microfiber tinted brow mousse. And I got the shade Mocha Blonde. And since my eyebrows are a little bit dark, I am just going to kind of take this over it and just see what it looks like. So it says Arches and Halos Tanya Crooks Professional Brow. It's ophthalmologist tested, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, vegan, cruelty-free, and leaping bunny approved. This is what the packaging looks like. And it does have a lot of little fibers on there. I like that. It's just like a little hint of lightness. It kind of looks like it adds highlights to your brows. So that is it for this video. I really like the way pretty much everything turned out. The only thing I did not like was the Makeup Obsession Concealer. It just wasn't enough coverage for me. But I love the foundation, the powder, the highlight. I really like their eyeshadows as well. They have really great pigmentation as well as their face palette. You guys should definitely pick this up if you're into more bronzy looks because this was so pretty. I really love it. I will say the only other thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the Makeup Obsession Lip Gloss because on me, it went to a matte lip and I was kind of looking for a glossy lip. But honestly, it's totally fine. Otherwise, I really like the way everything looks all together. My skin just looks really nice and smooth and glowy. The eyeshadow is really pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I found a lot of new Holy Girl products in this one, so I'm super excited about it. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are going to try out any of these products in the future. And if you already have, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!